There's been some rain in Dallas-Fort Worth, and now that part of North Texas has emerged from a historic drought that lasted 30 weeks. But nearly 60 percent of Texas is still bone dry, with drought conditions expected to last into April. Nowhere is the situation more desperate than in the town of Spicewood Beach. Anna Werner is there. Single mother Diana Castillo is one of 1,100 people who've been told their town is running out of water. It's devastating. You don't, you don't really know what's going to happen. The community's only well has barely a day's worth of water left. So five times a day, water is being trucked in to fill the community's storage tank. And for now, everyone here has to boil drinking water. But Castillo would rather buy bottled water to make formula for her son. It takes another bite out of the paycheck she gets working at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> I mean, I'm a new mother. I'm worried about him. You know, he's my life. I'm worried about my family. I don't know what's going to happen. The community's problems started with the drought that dried up this part of Lake Travis. There's so little water left in the lake that boat docks like this one that should be floating some 40 feet over my head now sit on dry land. The biggest worry here is the threat of wildfires. Have you ever had the town say to you, we might not have enough water for you to fight a fire? No. This is the first time? This is the first time. Volunteer Fire Chief Dean Lester and his crew fought wildfires here last summer. This season, he may have to truck in water from communities 12 miles away. If you've got a truck water as opposed to water being right there ready, uh, it, it makes all the difference in the world as to how fast you can put out a fire. The Water Authority is now weighing options that could prove expensive. Dig a deeper well or find a way to get water from another lake. It's one of those critical situations that you can just hope that it just gets better. If it doesn't, Castillo says, she may have to think about a third option, moving. Anna Werner, CBS News, Spicewood Beach, Texas.